in continuation with with our understanding of iptv service provisioning on ngn based uh, ims architecture uh, let's look at the functions that we are continuing to cover so we have uh, already seen the end user functions and we've seen the application functions now we are interested in uh, looking at the um, uh, content delivery function and uh, the transport control functions management and content provider functions so let's look at the service control uh, functions the service control function if we go back to the figure again service uh, control functions actually are related to the uh, ims functionality it means it is part of the service stratum and it is actually going to make use of services which are either available in the ims or uh, available in the uh, control uh, function blocks that we've seen are there in non ims based IPTV service provisioning architectures. So uh, the service control functions actually are meant to provide the service and manage the service in a way that uh, if the connection has to be initiated, if it has to be modified, and uh, um, if if IP service has to be terminated. So the service control functions are going to be utilized at the service stratum part of the um, IMS architecture and non ims ims based service blocks so it provides the service access control essentially that is the summary so it establishes and maintains the network uh, resources the overall uh, end system resources the content provider resources for iptv service provisioning it actually makes use of the uh, service user profile so the service user profile functional block essentially if you look at it here uh, is 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 a, is a database uh, that provides certain user related information for instance to which all ip televisions has a user subscribed the services to then what is the uh, id of the user and what is the location of the user what is the status of the user if the user is online offline uh, intermittently connecting and then the overall management of the data associated with the user uh, so uh, this service control function is also responsible to to generate responses to the query uh, for user profile. For instance, if someone is interested in authenticating the user, that is the AAA functionality related for the NSCF and the um, uh, RACF, the resource and admission control function, including the location, which is uh, again needed for the uh, continuity service continuity. Uh, so uh, we have the uh, content delivery function after the service control function the content delivery function actually can be categorized into two functional subgroups one is the content delivery and the location control function and the second one is content delivery and the storage functions each one has its own responsibility so essentially uh, the uh, it is related to the delivery delivery means we need some kind of storage space so caching storing etc are the primary concerns here so it actually deals with and interacts with the service uh, control block or uh, in terms of NGN, IMS, the service control function. So it actually needs to gather some information for content distribution and storage. For instance, uh, certain resources which are going to be utilized and the status of the service. For instance, if the service is needing the resources or the service does not need any resources anymore and the capabilities of the user in terms of the uh, the memory that a user has, the processing power, and the uh, uh, user space which it it is which is allowed to run this particular uh, IPTV service. Uh, the uh, content delivery and st uh, storage function actually is responsible for delivering the content down to the client, that is the end user. It uses certain network functionalities which are underlying at the transport stratum. For instance, if it is going to be a unicast service or a multicast service that we've already covered because at the more uh, core and transport level, we've got multicast service and at the access side, we've got unicast service. Uh, now, in, in addition to these uh, uh, primary uh, uh, functions, functional groups, uh, we have certain other uh, functions as well, which is relatively have uh, uh, equal importance, but their scope is rather limited. So we have the network functions, we have the management functions and we have the content creation functions. Let's look at all of these one by one. So we have the network functions. It provides the 
connectivity related issues and path establishment services um, uh, right at the core level at the access side and in the transport networks. Uh, because uh, when certain IPTV service has to be offered, then a lot of network resources shall be utilized. So allocating these resources at the access core and transport networks is a very important concern. Though uh, in terms of the complexity, we have seen very complex functions already. Then we have the management functions. That is, uh, uh, management is all about monitoring and uh, configuring to, to get the FCAPS realization, that is fault management configuration management, accounting management, performance management, and security management. Uh, so uh, the uh, management of the application, the content delivery mechanism, the service control, the user device, the transport, all these actually are under coming under the umbrella of management. So whatever we've studied, whatever functions we know, whatever functional groups we know, management is going to touch upon each one of these. Uh, then we have the content provider uh, functions. Content provider functions are actually related to the preparation of content. Um, now the content and the associated metadata, that is the uh, tags or the keywords which are used to discover a certain um, audiovisual content, all, all this is actually uh, needed to be made available. So the content provider function actually makes all these available. Now, in addition to ensuring that the content is provided, uh, the all the copyright issues, the access limitations to the authorized users and the encryption of it is again a concern that comes in the, under the uh, protection rights. Now, uh, now, all these protection mechanisms are a concern for the um, uh, this particular content provider function as well. So finally, uh, we are looking at this uh, uh, figure again. Uh, we have uh, uh, summarized the end user functions, the application functions, content delivery functions. Uh, we have seen the management related and content provider functions. Now the transport control functions and the transport functions as such are not exactly in the scope of IPTV because whatever the service is going to be, whether it is streaming, if it is voice over IP, or if it is a best effort, the transport functions and the transport control functions are anyways going to be executed. So we, we've, we've not covered it, but it is implied that engine architecture is heavily dependent upon the uh, transport stratum for its end-to-end -end success, of course.